Welcome to this tutorial on using SQLite with App Inventor. The App Inventor .aia and .apk files and the transcript for this tutorial are available in an app from the Google Play Store. When you run the app, it will copy these files to your SD card and you can transfer them to the computer you use for App Inventor. App Inventor can be used to write sophisticated apps with large and complex data requirements. The built-in databases are quite small, with very simple structures, and the linked cloud-based databases mean that an internet connection is always needed. SQLite is a sophisticated mainstream database that can store and process large amounts of data very efficiently. Apps can use an SQLite database to store and handle large amounts of organized information inside the user's device so that the information can be used without an internet connection. The information can also be edited and updated by the user. Using the SQLite database makes the process of searching for specific information much easier and faster. An SQLite database is a single computer file that works in exactly the same way on any computer system and we can copy this file between computer systems. If we want our App Inventor app to use a large set of information we can create this file on our desktop or laptop system and then add it as an asset file to our app. We can use an SQLite database to store almost any type of digital data, but for this tutorial we will focus on data that can be stored as strings of text or numbers. For the first app, we will use an SQLite database that I have created on my desktop system. The file called comtrade.sqlite is a database file that holds a summary of trade data for 2017 between the US and the UK and the rest of the world. The Comtrade data shows the value of international trade between two countries. The reporter is the country that provides this information. The partner is the country they are trading with. Our Comtrade database only includes reported data for two countries, but you can download for many more countries. This data comes from the UN Comtrade database at comtrade.un.org slash data. Just a note. Some numbers in this database are larger than the maximum value for an integer in App Inventor. If you see the value 2147483647 in a display, this is an error, as this is the maximum number that can be displayed as an integer. But note it can lead to serious errors in calculations. The main source of information about SQLite is the website www.sqlite.org and there are many good tutorials available if you want to find more information. SQLite files can be opened and edited on any computer system by using suitable software. I'm going to use Database Browser for SQLite from the website sqlitebrowser.org. If we use the database browser to open comtrade.sqlite on our desktop system, we can see how this database is structured. If we start by browsing the data, we can see there is one table of data called comtrade. Each data record is one row of data split into five columns. Each data item in this table is called a cell. We can also see that this table holds 1,134 records. 
Next, we will look at the database structure. Each column has name and a type. The name is how we identify that column, and the, the type is the format used to store that data. The first four columns are all storing the data as text, but the trade value column is also using text even though it is a number, so that we avoid some of the problems with App Inventor handling very large numbers. We will start a new project in App Inventor and call it Working with SQLite Comtrade 1. Then we will upload our Comtrade database files as an asset. The blocks that we need to work with SQLite are not part of the core blocks, so we need to add these as an extension. We will use the org benedum.sqlite.aix extension, which we can download from GitHub site frdfsnlght slash aix hyphen sqlite. We download it to our computer and then upload it to our project. Our first SQLite app is going to extract the data from the database for the trade between two countries and then display this data. We need a user interface that allows the user to select one reporter country and also to select one partner country. We will use list view components for this selection. These list view components need to be populated with data that we extract from the database and we will set this up as part of our screen one initialize process. Starting with the SQLite 1 debug dialog set to true is very useful to report what the SQLite blocks are doing and highlight any errors. Then we need to import the database file that we're going to use. In this project, this will be the slash slash comtrade.sqlite file from the assets folder. I use the free Genymotion emulator to test my programs as I develop them. So the link to the assets folder is the same as for testing on a real Android device. The imported database then has to be opened. For this project, we will use the SQLite Select SQL block to extract the data from the database. We will give it an SQL query, select distinct reporter from Comtrade. And since we are not using any parameters, an empty list. The term SELECT means get the data from the database. The term DISTINCT REPORTER means get the country names from the reporter column, but no duplicates. The term FROM COMTRADE means get this data from the COMTRADE table. The output from this query will be a list that can be used to create the list view reporter. The next query is very similar. The SQL query is select distinct partner from Comtrade. The output from this will be a list of the distinct country names from the partner column and this will be used to populate the list view partner. That completes the user interface for the user to select one reporter and one partner. The Comtrade database holds four different values for trade between a reporter country and a partner country. Export is the value of goods exported from the reporter to the partner. Import, the value of goods imported to the reporter from the partner. Re-import 
are goods imported in the same state as previously exported to the partner country. And re-export are exports of foreign goods in the same state as previously imported. We will display these values in a table with the left hand column identifying the data and the right hand column displaying the value of the data. The table arrangement is given two columns and four rows. The first four labels in the left column cells identify the data. The next four labels have been named to match the data they will display and are placed in the right hand column of our table arrangement. We need a value for the reporter and for the partner before we can extract the matching data from the database. We will use global variables of reporter and partner for these. The block when list view reporter after picking gives us the value for the reporter from the selection. The block when list view partner after picking gives us the value for partner from the selection. Each time a new value is picked, we call the function show trade. The first time that function show trade is called, only one value has been picked, so we use if to check that both of these variables contain values before we proceed to display the result. Not is empty global partner and not is empty global reporter. Now we can proceed to the SQLite select SQL statements that extract data from the database using these two global variables. The SQL query select trade value from comtrade where reporter equals question mark and partner equals question mark and trade flow equals question mark. Select trade value we want the values from the trade value column that matches our query. From comtrade means from the comtrade table. Where the following parts of the statement are what must be matched. Reporter equals question mark. The reporter column must match the first parameter. And partner equals question mark and the partner column must match the second parameter and trade flow equals question mark and the trade flow column must match the third parameter. The parameters for this query need to be supplied as a list to bind parameters. The first parameter is the global reporter variable, the second parameter is the global partner variable, the third parameter is the value export. Each of our four queries use the same SQL statement and the same first two parameters. The difference is the third parameter which is the value for the type of trade. The output from this query is a list even though we are expecting a single value. If we were simply to display this list value it would be surrounded by brackets. To remove these brackets we can convert the list to CSV and then remove the inverted commas from the CSV before displaying this in the appropriate labels. There are other ways of converting lists into plain text. That completes the design of our first app and it is, it is time to test it in an emulator on, or on a real device. As part of our testing we must check that we are displaying the right values in the right boxes. So we must compare the values that our app displays with the values inspected directly in the database. In the next tutorial we will edit content and update the database.